What's going on guys, Berserker here, and we are back for some more FTB. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we've got... Oh, I fell. <laughs> we've got quite a bit of stuff to do today. Um, as you can see, I'm using the to-do list because I forgot to use it last episode. And I think the episode before that. But, uh, yes. It's going to be an awesome episode. So... First thing I want to point out, and I, you guys are probably going to see it, but I'm not going to show you this episode. Um, there's a little bit of stuff going on behind the spawner. Um, like I said, that's going to be next episode because I'm not done with it yet, and I want to surprise you guys because it's going to be awesome. So, um, yep, and I also uh, broke down the enchantment room. No particular reason. Um, so, yes, let's us get started with today's episode. Okay, so... Let's see here. Make a cow spawner. Well, that's not going to be too bad. Make an assembly table. Ooh, that sounds neat. Make lasers. Who doesn't love lasers? Uh, make liquid tesseracts. Okay, well, we've made, tesser we've made uh, item tesseracts, but we've never made liquid tesseracts. And make redstone energy cells. Okay. And then make an octarchic gate. Now, that is a fun word to say. Octarchic. Or octarchic. Octarchic. Um, Arctarchic Gate, I think is how you pronounce it. So we've got kind of a lot of stuff to do today. Um, I actually went ahead and did some of the stuff off screen just because, uh, like, I got the uh, energy cells, but I, they're not they're not the redstone energy con or energy cells yet. Um, I just filling them takes a really long time. It took me like probably an hour to uh, smelt or melt down all of my redstone and then put it into this guy. Same with the uh, Unattuned Tesseract. So these guys do take a little bit of time to fill, but in the long run, I think this is going to be an awesome project. Um, I know I said last episode that I was going to do another farm, but I, this is definitely, definitely going to help with uh, everything around the place, everywhere around here. Because the Octarchic Gate is very, very, very neat. So... Yes, let us get us started. So, what is the first thing to do on the list? It is make the cow farm. Make a cow spawner. Well, if you guys remember, we actually already have a tier 5 cow shard. So, all we need is a soul cage. Um, I was thinking, like, I was thinking about making a second, um, you know, like, spawner. Like, this is the blaze spawner. But that's not very smart. Why don't I just put the cow spawner in the blaze spawner? Right? Because I'm using this for XP and blaze rods. So why can't I get the XP from the cows and get their meat and their leather too? So I'm just going to put the cow guy in here. They're both going to spawn at the same time. Which, you know, kind of stings. I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade the system to either have blaze rod spawn or cows. Instead of both at the same time. But um, I think for now uh, both spawning at the same time is going to be a really cool idea. I know I said I was going to make something like to automatically like cook the beef. But I started thinking about it and it's like, uh, because it, it's kind of a lot of work. And, you know, I'm lazy. So why don't I just get a bunch of raw beef and cook it ourselves? It's not like we're going to have to like, because look, I, I honestly, I don't even need some right now. I've got like six stacks of beef already. So, you know, we're just going to do this for fun. That's the main reason we're doing this. So let's get this out of the way. We'll use some of the stuff for later, but we're just going to keep it in our inventory. So we actually need a couple. We need one more bar. So we need to get... Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Whoops. Actually, no. We're going to need that for later anyways. Ha-ha! <laughs> so we need to get the iron, and we need to make ourselves a couple more of these guys. Iron bars. Because we actually need eight of them, if you guys remember, for a soul cage. I believe it's like this. Yes. Okay, cool. Soul cage, so we can actually put these guys back because I don't think we're going to be needing them again. So we got our soul cage, and let's get out our cow spawner. Cool. We're also going to need, let's see here, we're going to need a bit of red alloy wire and um, some blocks. I think that's everything we're going to need. I think. So let's let's not peek at this and so you guys don't see what that is. Um, so let us pop in here really quickly. Um, I believe it's, yeah, right here is close. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I if um, 
because for some reason blazes were actually sitting on top of the cage the blaze uh this guy the soul cage um i ended up actually putting some like micro block like covers on it so they couldn't sit on here so that's just what that is in case you were wondering and then i believe i should let's actually let's get out these blocks because it'll be a lot easier to move or oh god move around if we are up near the spawner okay so I believe we should be able to take this red alloy wire I don't know why I only grabbed one I should have grabbed two why didn't I grab more pieces what is wrong with me so this episode I'm not gonna cut nearly as much because I did a lot of that last episode so I'm gonna try my best to try to keep this as close to as to one episode like to from like one like one chunk you know what I mean don't peek at that you guys trying to peek at it jeez trying to ruin the surprise it's not really that surprised but it's actually really cool I think you guys are really gonna like it so we should be able to let's see if I can do this there we go place the soul cage down and let's make sure we place that guy right there so this should work um, the blazes shouldn't be able to sit on here because they're too tall like they're too tall um, too block tall I believe is how I should say it um, cows on the other hand I don't think should spawn on top of this just because there's that little lip but I think we'll be good and place the cow guy in there look at him go he's dancing he's dancing so now we should be just perfect let us go give this a test get out some blocks cover this guy back up we don't need blazes trying to murder us because that is no fun and let's pop this guy on okay um, I'm gonna leave this open uh, just because sometimes when I leave the server uh, the chunks are unloaded and this guy the timer stops now you're probably wondering why don't I use a red power 2 timer because for some reason they're really super buggy on my like server and like they do stuff like this where they just freeze for a second and they're actually really not good for servers because uh like if you have too many in one in the world they can actually like make it super laggy so um vanilla red power or vanilla redstone is i think a little less strenuous on the server and the fact that the timer itself really isn't working uh is kind of a major reason for that so pop this guy on let's take a look oh look at the cows they get flowed they flow into these guys and then they murder them um so for right now i actually they're going into a chest right here just because i don't have any barrels set up for the leather and stuff so let's go get a barrel because i have a, i think i have oh god a few extra barrels Ooh, that frame drop son that frame drop okay i should have a few extra barrels around somewhere uh let's see here Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, then. Well, that's not a big deal. We can make a couple. We need two. So we need 14 pieces of wood and two... Oops. Two of these guys. Okay. Go like so. And there we go. Two barrels. Um, I will be making these extra dimensional, so don't worry about that. But I'm not going to do it on screen because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, have you guys ever had one of those days where it's just like weird, like in a good way weird? Dude, that frame drop. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm having one of those days where it's just like everything is silly. It's silly, silly day. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. You gotta be happy about Fridays. Yes, that's exactly where I wanted the pneumatic tubes. Game, you're so, you're so jealous of my ability to place pneumatic tubes down. Oh, you know what? I should, yeah, I should probably flip this guy off now because uh, f there's so many blazes in here that they're kind of laggy sound and it's just bad. Whoa, holy crap! Dude, we got like freaking like five stacks of meat without even like trying. That is crazy. Oh man, I love this. I am in love with this. So I actually, the major reason I wanted to do the cow stuff today was because uh, I'm actually out of books. And 
this guy has a lot of paper. So let's watch this uh, fabricator go to work. Boop, boop. Do, 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 Look at all the books. I actually need more leather. That's okay. I'll let this guy run later when off camera because he doesn't need to run right now. So that is the cow killer spawner machine. I think that actually went surprisingly well. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Fantastic. Okay. On to task number two. Let us see here. Um, make assembly table. Ooh, okay. So how do we make ourselves an assembly table? Assembly table. Holy crap. So we need a diamond, a diamond gear, some redstone, and some obsidian. How does it... Okay, so a diamond gear is four diamonds and a gold gear, and then that's an iron gear, there's a stone gear, there's a wood gear, and sticks. Ah, this expensive recipe. It's not even that expensive yet. Trust me, it gets a lot worse. So, let us see here. I actually think I have some extra... Yep, I've got one stone gear here. And we need only one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we actually have the iron we need on us. We need some gold. We need four pieces of gold and four diamonds. Actually, five diamonds. We need some more, some obsidian. We need six of this, and we don't have any redstone. Okay, cool. So let's make this guy. So we need to make the stone gear into an iron gear. So let's do that really quick. So I believe it's like this and like so. And then we take iron to gold, the upgrading tier system, and this to diamond. Ooh, diamond. Okay, cool. So now we should be able to make this assembly table. Awesome. And there we go, assembly table. What does this guy do? Well, I will show you guys in a bit because we don't have everything we need to work him. We're going to need some of those lasers. That's the reason we're making some. Okay, so lasers. How do we make lasers? L-A-S-E-R. Not this guy. A mining laser is pretty cool, but that's not what we're making. We're making lasers. Ooh, two diamonds and then some obsidian and some redstone. Okay, well, that's that's not too bad. It, it's not bad unless, you know, we're actually making nine lasers. So uh, it's like 18 diamonds. <laughs> Like I said, uh, more diamonds were to be used today. So, 18 diamonds. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's just grab... Actually, we already have some obsidian and we have... I think we have enough redstone. Nine lasers. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, we've got the lasers. We've got the assembly table. But we still don't have everything we need to run this guy. Okay. So, what else do we need? Well, we're going to need the liquid tesseracts. Like I said, we I went ahead and made the unattuned. So now we just need to look up how to make liquid ones. Q, U. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, oh yeah, there it is. Right there. Liquid tesseract. So we need some silver, some tin, and some copper, and then a pneumatic servo. Okay. So we need some... Uh, do we already have tin? We already have tin. What was the other stuff? Silver? Do we have silver? Nope some silver and then we should be good we should be good do we have everything we need no we don't have the servo that's right so we need, should need to go get some glass always got glass glass is a very good thing to keep on hand tell you the truth um servo like this we need one actually no we do need two of these guys i didn't even think about that and then we need to go like this two liquid tesseracts fantastic we're just blowing through all these objectives today, but the setup is going to be a little bit longer, so it's a good thing we're getting through these quite quickly. Um, let's see here. Now we need to make redstone energy cells. Okay, how do we make those guys? And like I said, I'll, I'll explain what all these do. Redstone energy cell. Okay, so we need some electrum. Okay, the energy cell full. Some conduit redstone conductive... Wait... Con dun de 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 the coil thing. That thing in the word I can't say. Um, and some lead. Okay. Well, we should be able to... We aren't able to... Uh... Oh, because we're not in a crafting square. Herp or derp. Okay. And we should have everything. Yes, we do. Nine energy cells. 
They don't stack. Oh, I, I did not know that. I I truly, I truly did not know that. That's, that's, that is interesting. Okay, well, put this away and put uh, the silver away. It's definitely not silver. My clicking has been buggy lately. It's really bugging me. <laughs> buggy, bugging. Arr. Okay, so like I said, it's one of those weird days where I'm just really, really weird. What else do we need? Well, I think that is uh, make an Octarchic game. Yeah, we have everything we need. Okay, so let's fly over this way and not let you guys take a peek at my secret project of secretness. Okay, so this is the room where we're going to be making Octarchic gates and gates of other sorts, where essentially we're using the assembly table. Okay, okay, so I've already... Oh, you guys... Do, oh, do you... Do you oh, 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 you guys got a sneak peek at what the, the side of the room, the side of the stuff. Okay, so I've got this room all laid out. It looks uh, kind of, it looks all right, I think. It looks fine for its uses. Bird, shut up. No one asked you to speak. So uh, let's place this guy right here. Yeah. So here's the assembly table. Ooh, okay. Well, what is he used for? Well, he's used in making gates and uh, chipsets. And what are gates and chipsets? Well, chipsets are things used to make gates. And gates are used to... Um, they're used to essentially pump out liquid items or energy from machines and send them to their proper place. Um, uh, you know what? I think it's better if I show you what they do than me explaining it. Because I've, never, I've like never really used them before, so... Um, I can kind of explain when I show you. So let's get to the shelving part. Um, well, we need to place down these lasers. Okay. Well, we're going to place them right here. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this is why we have the 9 by 9 area. Hence the reason they all, they're all floaty and stuff. Now, this I did not test. Uh, I was really kind of just going by uh, hope, hope that this would work. Okay, good. So they do stay. They do float. They're magical floating blocks. Okay, so we got the nine lasers there. This is why we needed the nine redstone energy cells. Because I'm going to be placing them here, 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 here. Now, I know some of you that do know what you're doing are saying, you're an idiot, what are you doing? You're wasting a whole crap ton of redstone energy cells. Well, um, I'm using these as a buffer. So when, like, let's say, I'm going to be powering these guys with magmatic engines. If I ever run out of lava and I need to make an Octarchic gate like right then, I want to have a buffer. So these guys are going to be my buffer, essentially. Okay, well, now let's get all these guys all geared up with the cabling. Neat. Let's pull this guy over here. So, um, like I said, we're going to be powering these guys with magmatic engines. I am going to cut here. I know I said I was going to try to keep it down to one, but... Uh, I'm going to cut here, I'm going to make a couple magmatic engines, and then we're going to be back, and we're going to power these redstone energy cells. And as soon as they start getting power, I can kind of explain what they are and what they do. So, like I said, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So, first thing I want to say, uh, I have my windows open because it's a really, really nice day out, so if you guys hear a lot of, like, cars, I'm sorry. I can't help the cars, but if you're birds, they're quite peaceful. Not really. I kind of want to go punch them in the face. No, they're actually not that bad, but there are some really annoying birds that live around my house. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's a super nice day, so I, and I couldn't resist. So I'm sorry if you hear bird noises. It'll add to the scenery of the game. So, I went ahead and made myself five magmatic engines. Okay. So let's see here. I want to pop these guys, I'm thinking like right here. There we go. That is exactly what I wanted. And then I want to go like this and set up some energy conduits. Cool. Now we need to get out my wrench of wrenchiness. My hammer, actually. Turn these guys. Okay. Oops. Oops. Up. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So I actually will be adding on to this roof really quick just because I didn't plan very well. That should be all we need. I lied. We need one more. There we go. That should be all we need. So I'm going to place down some liquid ducts. 
right along here. So if you guys remember, magmatic engines are uh, run on lava, hence the name magmatic engines. Um, they run on lava, and the way we're going to get our lava today is with the liquid tesseracts. So I'm thinking, yeah, right here, yeah, the liquid tesseract can go right here. So we're going to pop this guy down right there, and this guy should connect. Ooh, I am actually going to need to move him. Is he picked up with the wrench? Or the handle? Yes, he is. Okay. So we actually need to move him out one more. Just because, if you guys do remember, which you should, it wasn't too many episodes ago. Um, we actually, I'll show you. And It's more of a show and tell time. Um, when we place down the Tesseract, we actually need to be able to interact with this pipe only and not have it activate these pipes. So... We actually need to go, like, actually we're going to leave it like that. So, I've been trying to think of a place to put this guy. I have a couple places where I can get lava. Um, we are going to be using it, like, from these ender tanks. We're not, we could have just made an ender tank. That would work perfect. But I wanted to try a different tesseract. Just so we can, you know, we could try a little bit of everything. So, I'm actually going to place this guy over here. Get over here! Um, and we should be good. Oh, that's that's a problem. Uh, okay, so we actually need to move this guy, and we actually need to place another block. That is not a block. There we go. We need to place it right here. Now we could take straight from the uh, Ender Tank, but that's no fun. That's no fun at all. So Liquiduct and Item Tesseract. And as you guys remember, this has liquid in it, so it's its own type of pipe. Because you can actually run, like, liquid and lava right next to each other, since there are two different liquids inside. Uh, they won't interact. But we want these guys to interact. So all we do is hit this guy with a hammer. Or not. Come on. It's hammer time. Why, why, why you no connect? Okay, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well, it connected. You know what? Let's just do it the old-fashioned way and break the crap out of this and replace them just for funsies. I said place. There you go. That works. I mean, that's that's one method of doing it. And we actually don't want this guy to pump out, and we want this guy to. So, if you guys remember, uh, the yellow, uh, when you right-click it, actually like forms kind of an arrow, and that signifies it pulling out. So we are pulling lava out of this guy, and we're pumping it into this guy and this guy. So now we actually need to set up a liquid tesseract uh, signal. So we're going to set him to device number one, and we're going to call this lava. And we're going to save the frequency, and then we're going to set the frequency. Now, what I didn't do last time with the mining, uh, with the uh, item tesseract, we're actually going to set the configuration. I actually did do it, but I just forgot to at first. Um, and as you guys remember, we wanted to set public because we're playing by ourselves. It's single player. Um, if you're playing on server, though, you definitely want to lock it down and make it owner only. But, you know, if you want to be generous and, like, give stuff to your friends, like, if you have an item tesseract that has cobble go through it whenever, like, you know you need cobble, uh, you can make it public and then, like, have your friends, like, cobble stuff go through. But, you know, if you want to lock it down, if you want to have, your, like, you have your own lava thing and you don't want other people to have them, you lock it down. So we actually are going to leave it public. And we want it to have it send only. We don't want this guy receiving. So now we want to go over to this guy. And we want him to go to the lava frequency. And we want him to receive only. Okay. So. Set frequency. We should be receiving lava. Oh. Okay. So we actually also want this guy to pump out lava. So we need to change him to this and he needs a redstone signal so I have an abundance of levers because that one time I derped up and accidentally made, accidentally made like 22 okay and that should be everything we need so why why you no work son son why you no work he's receiving frequency one and he's pulling out lava why is he not taking the lava? Hmm. Very interesting. Is it... No. I don't know. 
Um, give me just a second. I don't know why this guy... Look, he's receiving lava. Oh, is it, why isn't this set? Set frequency. There we go. Now is he pumping out lava? Hmm. Very, very strange. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. That's weird. Okay, so I guess, like, since he's it's an auto-pump system, he doesn't need to pull? Like, the pipes to pull or something? I don't know. Ooh, that's a problem. Um, okay, I need to extend this by one. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Place a block. Nah, nah, I don't like the way that looks. Place a block right here. Place down the torch or the, the, the lever, and that should be good. Now, obviously, we wouldn't want these magmatic run engines running all the time. Just because, you know, like, as soon as this, as soon as, well, we're not using it, and the buffer's filled, which, that was weird, uh, which is these guys right here. Where's my hammer? Silly liquid duct. Okay. So, these guys, like I said, are a buffer. And they will receive the energy from these guys and should be getting filled. Hmm, okay, I can't seem to access that guy because of the pipe. Uh, can we break this block and access it? Yes, we can. Okay, so we should be receiving um, energy. Stores MJ, right-click to change input, output. Oh, okay, so maybe I had to do it with a hammer. That breaks it. That's definitely not what we want. Like I said, I've never played with uh, the redstone energy cells before. I figured it was just you know, pop them in and they work. Um, so let's see here. We should just be able to go like this. And it says, stores MJ, right click to change input output. Limit by one. Wrench while sneaking to decimate. So why can't I change their settings? Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to read up why this isn't working. Maybe it's because there's multiple touching or something like that. Or I'm an idiot. I actually just realized what it could be. Um, so if you guys remember... Uh, no, because these are... These are sets. Oh, okay, yeah. I figured out why. Sorry. Like I said, I, I, I'm, not, I'm still new to these uh, redstone energy conduits. Um... So we actually need to switch these guys to output mode. Oops. Output mode, output mode, output mode. And now these guys are filling? No. Now you're filling. No. Now you're filling. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be right back, guys, and I'm going to get these working, and then I'll explain what I did wrong, because I'm obviously doing something wrong. Okay, guys, I'm back. I am so, 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 so sorry. I, I can't even express how stupid I feel right now. Um, I swear I, I saw a video and I thought, I thought, I thought they were magmatic engines. I thought they were. I read the wiki. It's at MJ. I figured magmatic engines work. It's not. They're combustion engines. These are the guys we need. Um, apparently, these guys are the redstone energy cells only take Buildcraft 3 power. So... Uh, I'm hoping this whole setup works, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry, because this is completely wasted for, like, an episode, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, so, let us see if this actually works. So, we need to fix these up, so let's go like this, and then we need to connect the cabling back up. Go like so. Yeah, that was my bad. I'm so sorry. That's like the second time I've done it. I, I seriously thought it was com or magmatic engines and not combustion. But, you know, you live and you learn. Now you guys know not to use magmatic engines. Even though, I really hope nobody was like following this video and like learning along with it. Because I just taught you wrong and I made you waste a bunch of materials. Um, but this works. I actually tested it. As you can see, this guy right here has 9,000 MJ. Very cool. So, turn this, break this, so these guys can actually get their lava. Now, 
To prevent these guys from overheating, they actually need to keep water in them. So I went ahead and grabbed one of our, our extra aqueous, aqueous accumulator. Aqueous accumulator, that guy. Um, and we need to set him up. So we're going to set him up uh, right here. Um, right here. Um, right here. No. Right. I don't know where I should put them. I'm going to put them back behind these guys. You know what? I'll just make like a thing. I'll make, I'll cover these guys up. Just because they are kind of ugly. So let's go like this. Make a little platform. So we need, it's going to be aqueous accumulator. Let me make this guy even. There we go. So aqueous accumulator. Go like this. We'll make it one more out. Okay. So let's do this. If you guys remember from, I think, like, the third episode, I think we played with these guys. Um, so we need to go like this, 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 this. Um, and you know what? Just for funsies, I'm going to go grab some more cobblestone. Just so this guy stays a little more full more frequently. I think, I think it, it will say full with two, but I'm going to make three water sources around it. Just... Like I said, for funsies, we're having a silly day where I teach you absolutely everything wrong. And you guys yell at me in the comment section for being an idiot. And we all have a joyous laugh. Oh, we oh we don't. Oh, you guys want to stab me with pitchforks. Oh, I thought we had fun. And, like, you guys like brought cake. And then you guys are just like, uh, I'm allergic to chocolate. And I'm like, dang it. And then you guys pull out the pitchforks and start stabbing me with them. See, see, I mean, it just, it just, you know, it, it happens sometimes. I know, I get that, I get that, it happens. Um, so, aqueous accumulator, uh, this guy. Okay, so, here, 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 and, okay, he's taking in water, and then we need to run some liquid ducks, like so, and we just need to run him. Run them along these guys. Hopefully they take input from the side. I don't know if they do. Like I said, this is a learning process. So, let's see here. We need to make some more liquid ducts, I think. Yeah, we need to make like two more, which sucks. But they're actually quite easy to make, so that's a plus. Okay, let's go make one more liquid duct. So, let's see here. Liquid duct. How do we make these guys? L-I-Q. Liquid duct. Okay. So, we need copper and hardened glass. Well, we've got that. Right? Yeah. Let's make a few of these guys. Just, you know, just so I have them in the future. 24 should be suffice. Should suffice for now. I need to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze, though. Okay. So, then we just go like so. Okay, now, please be my friend. You know what, I'm just not gonna, you're not gonna be my friend. You know what, I'm just gonna break you anyways. I'm just gonna do it for fun. Ha, how's that feel, scrub? Okay, so go like this, and water. Now please tell me they're going into the engines. Engines are smart, engines are smart. They're very smart. Ha ha, the water's going into the engines. So, um, these guys are gonna fill, and as they fill, uh, I think the water just keeps them from exploding. Or not, ex I, do they explode? Let me read the thing. To ke it keeps them from overheating. Okay. Uh, oh, to prevent explosions. Okay, so we keep them from overheating. If they overheat, they explode. So, explosions are bad. We don't like explosions. Um, now, is this guy staying? He's staying, look, he's he's filling up a lot quicker than, he's, qu he's filling up quicker than these guys. Um, these guys are just taking it really quick. They're, I just, I'm just gonna, yeah, they're filling up quite quickly, and these guys also require a redstone signal, um, which could be problematic. Do they have, oh, did not mean to do that. I'm so glad that I didn't, like, break into little bits like stupid stuff does. It's, it's my luck that stuff breaks, so, okay, so... Let's see here. Do they have an extra... They do have kind of an extra slot. Okay, cool. I can run some energy or redstone stuff underneath that. That's not... Ooh. Hello. Why do I have extra stuff over there but not over here? Oh, it's not actually that. It's this stuff. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. 
There we go. Get this guy out. Let's put these buckets together so we have more inventory room. Okay. Let's get some redstone, uh, red, red alloy wire. This is like, a, it's just, it's just an odd episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're not, then I'm sorry. I fail at life and that pitchfork, you know, you might want to keep it prepped. Get that, get that thing out and, you know, sharpen it. Do you sharpen pitchforks? I don't know. Can you, do you, do you sharpen pitch? Do you like, is that the thing? Are you supposed to sharpen your pitchforks? Is that like, is that what you do? I don't, I don't know. Can someone, do you know about pitchforks? If you do, can you tell me you sharpen pitchforks? That sounds like something like a real thing. Like you sharpen them. Okay. And then I'm going to actually pop the switch for these guys. Um, let's see here. Where do we want it? Like right, yeah, right here works. So we actually need to, yeah, that, that'll work, that'll work. And we need to go like so, break this block, and then we need to run the red alloy down here. So we actually don't need this guy or this guy there. We need to go like this, this, and this. Haha! -ha. Okay, that should work. That should work splendidly, actually. And then all we need is the lever. Dude, I told you we were going to be using all these levers eventually. Flip that lever, and these guys should be running. Yes? Yes! Haha! -ha. Score one for me! So they do use lava, obviously, and hopefully they stay cool because of the water, the infinite water this aqueous accumulator does for us. And we should start seeing power build up. Oh, yes. Semi slow. Very kind of slow. But everything, it's spread out against amongst eight or nine uh, energy cells. So, awesome. Very, very cool. And actually, I don't need this here. There we go. Perfect. So, I'm going to let these guys charge for a minute. And when we come back, even though I've got like nine times that I wanted to make it like one thing, I'm going to let them charge. And when we come back, hopefully uh, we can actually use this uh, assembly table. Which should be interesting, because if we can't, I'm going to cry. I'm, I will cry. I will cry on camera. I will turn on my webcam, and I will record myself crying if I have to. I really hope this works. Okay, so yep, I will be back in a few moments. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I let them charge for a couple minutes while I cleaned out my inventory. Hopefully they have enough charge. They should. Um, yes. Okay, so what is an assembly table? Like I said, it's used to make chipsets and gates. And I couldn't really explain what a gate does. Like I said, I'd show you. So let's us, I guess, make a gate. How do we make a gate? Well, first off, we need to make a chipset. Ooh, okay. So we put in a single piece of redstone. We can make a redstone chipset. Okay, well, it's not doing anything. Well, we have to activate it. So we have to click, right, left click, and look, it's making it. Oh, look at all the pretty lasers. Look at that. Okay, so... um. Blue is, that means it's a maximum energy, and that means it's going to make the chipsets faster. Oh, that's weird. So the chipset just pops out. Well, you can actually, there's a workaround for that, which I was meant to grab, but I didn't. Um, if you take a chest and place it right next to the um, assembly table, it'll actually put the chipset in the, in the assembly table. So go like this, and next time it'll pop into here. Well... What does a redstone energy chipset do? Well, I don't know. I don't. I, I truly don't know. I do know that we do need to make a gate, and the way we make a gate is with a redstone energy chipset. Okay, cool. Left click, and it makes a gate. As you can see, as the ch as the colors change, it increases its speed. Very very cool. Um, now you can make you can use an assembly table with one laser. It's just really slow. You can use an assembly table. What that think up to like 45 lasers? Um, actually, no, you can make it with a lot more. Um, I think as long as the laser was in, is in with is in a five by five area, it should activate the assembly table. So I could surround this whole room with lasers, but that's like a giant waste of energy. So I'm just gonna go with nine because nine is an awesome number and it works perfect. So, 
And as you can see, there's no gate popping out. It's in the chest. Awesome. Well, we don't actually need a gate. If you guys remember, in the to-do list, we needed to make an Octarchic gate, right? Make Octarchic gate. Okay, well, let us see. How do we make an Octarchic gate? Well, we actually need a pulsating chip set and an iron chip set. Okay. How do you make an iron chip set? Well, we pop in a piece of iron and a piece of redstone. And we actually want to make the iron redstone. I can't read it. Uh, oh, there we go. Redstone iron chipset. So, you know, if you could pop in like four pieces of redstone and you can make a chipset as well and we'll make them both. But we just need one iron chipset. Redstone iron chipset. So these things can be made, can be used to make iron gates, iron and gates, iron or gates, uh, or is it and or gates? I don't know. There's like a, there's a ton of different gates and they all have different uses. But the one I know, I don't know how to use. I've never used it before. But the one I know, like, about is the Octarchic Gate. And that thing is amazing. So, one Redstone and one Ender Pearl. And that makes two pulsating chipsets. Okay. So, as you can see, this is kind of a time-consuming process. But in the long run, it is so, so, so worth it. This thing... If it was, if it cost 50 diamonds and I had 50 diamonds, I'd use them all. I would use them all because the Octarchic Gate is just that cool. I'm only going to make one for now, but later I'm going to be making like probably like 11 just because of how awesome they are. And I, as soon as I get one, I'll explain what they do and their uses. So let's see here. Almost there. Two pulsating chipsets. Oh, look at that sneak peek. Oh, look at that sneak peek for next episode. I hope it's going to be next episode. It should be next episode. Should be. Uh, oh, crap. I forgot I left my... Oh, my UU Matter thing on. Uh, I forgot about that. We have a lot of scrap boxes and I left this thing on. Oops. We're out of power. That's fine. Uh, wait, we're up to 31 stacks of UU Matter, so we're, we're doing pretty good there. How are we doing up here? For power. Um, it's, it's using a bit of energy, but I think it's going quite well. Okay. So, now we got the pulsating chip. We only need one. Now, how do we get an Octarchic gate? Well, you need a gate. Okay. A pulsating chip set. And an iron chip set. And we get an Octarchic gate. Oh, I thought this thing was actually going to take a little bit longer, since how it's like a tier one thing, instead of a tier, like, nothing. Tier, I guess the chipsets would be tier 1. I guess this is a tier... No, a gate would be tier 1. Maybe it's a tier 2? I don't know. I just thought it would take a lot longer. Okay. Okay. What is an Octarchic gate? Seeing how we've used an entire episode just to make one. Well, these things are fabulous. And I mean fabulous. All we have to do is go up to a buildcraft pipe. Um preferably uh you know okay let, okay let, let me put it this way it replaces redstone engines so right here where i have a redstone engine that pulls out this bog earth and then sends it all the way over to this guy and to get peat bog i no longer need this redstone engine let's just rip him out of the ground die die switch die i'm a very violent person not really but um i didn't really mean for all that catastrophe to happen but it's fine so let's get this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, the long-awaited Octarchic gates. No, I'm just going to leave that there. All we have to do is place this guy in the pipe. Boom. How cool is that looking? Okay. What does an Octarchic gate do? It has this nice little, little, little interface. And we can click stuff. Ooh, it's doing stuff. Okay, so... As you can see, there's a few different options. Let's start with the first one. When the pipe is empty, it sends a redstone pulse um, it, to this thing. So I could use it as an energy pulser. So when there's no I, pi, or when the pipe is empty, it'll send a bog earth. But since there's stuff in the pipe, it doesn't activate. Well, you can also have it send a redstone signal. Um, we could also have it do nothing. Well, we don't want the pipe is empty. When items are transversing, you can have it send an energy pulse, send a redstone signal. Okay. So if there's a redstone signal, no redstone signal, inventory is empty. Um, so if this inventory is empty, 
It'll send a redstone signal or redstone energy pulse. Um, okay. When there's items in inventory, which there is, it'll send bog earth if we set this to energy pulser. Energy pulser is essentially the redstone engine. Every time it goes up and down, it sends a pulse. It sends items. So, oh god. Okay, well, uh, that's a neat little trick I didn't want to have happening. As you can see, it is significantly faster than a redstone energy, uh, or a redstone ener or what are these things? Engine. Did you see that giant line of bog earth? That was amazing. That was amazing. So, um, that is pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. Now, unfortunately, this spot right here is not ideal for the redstone energy cell because of like okay so this tidex if like it needs to pull items from this inventory um unfortunately it doesn't it can't detect if this peat bog needs uh bog earth so we actually need to make a different gate and i'm not entirely certain i think it's an iron gate an iron gate in, and then we have to do some like redstone stuff um We'll be doing that next episode because I'm going to be making a bunch of gates off screen. But um, this gate is very cool. And all we have to do is break this pipe. And where's the uh, wind pipe? Oh, wow. It jumped all the way over here. And place this guy back down. Um, I will be putting the iron gate and we will do that next episode. Just because it is a pain in the butt to actually do this bogger thing. Because like I have to come over here and if this guy's running out, I have to flip the switch. And let it run. And then as soon as this guy's full, I have to flip the switch off. And then same process. I have to wait for these guys to have peat in them. If they're low on peat, I have to come over here and flip the switch. And then the peat goes through. It's just, it's like, it's it's stupid amount of work. So we can use Octarket gates, iron gates, gold gates, stuff like that. And we can start pumping stuff through them. Which is very cool. So... That was not a very good ex or, uh, example of the Octarket Gate, was it? Well, I actually have another idea for the Octarket Gate. One would be right here. Okay, you know, let's just replace this guy. We don't need this uh, redstone energy or redstone engine. So let's pop this wood pipe back there. And let's pop the Octarket Gate in here. So now all we want to do is win um, items in inventory so it's going to detect this inventory send energy pulser how cool is that so now we just removed an entire redstone engine y yes you know it's like well why don't you just keep the redstone engine it's not that big of a deal well it's not but look at how much cleaner it looks look i just have to replace the dirt there and it's it just it looks so nice it looks cool too so every time there is a scrap box in here, it's going to pull out the inventory. Very, very cool. Uh, I'll, I'll show you another use just because I don't really need this Octarket gate right here right now. Uh, let's get this guy. Okay. Let me show you another use. This one I've is a major, like a major reason why I wanted one. Let's go over to the mining world. Okay. This is the new mining world, by the way. I don't know if I pointed this out. I think I might have. Uh, the old one, it actually, like, corrupted or something, and I lost, like, a giant lava tank. It's fine. But, see, right here, I have two redstone energy uh, engines. I have no need for them now. Break, break. And all we have to do, place an Octarket gate right here. And win items in inventory, energy pulse. So, as soon as I, like, so let's say items come in here, it's going to start immediately pumping them out and sending them to the respected areas. As you guys remember, this is turtle crap, and this sends all cobblestone, uh, gravel, I don't know, just all cobblestone, and then gravel and dirt go to the uh, void. And then, as you can see, all the items were sent up here. How nifty is that? Essentially, an Octarctic gate replaces all redstone energy, or redstone engines very 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 cool so i hope you guys enjoyed the octarket gate i know we'll definitely be using a bunch of them uh we're going to be using a bunch of different gates next episode like i said and yeah i'm sorry about the derp up the mess up with the uh the engines over here 
I really did think they were magmatic, but combustion, it works. We have um, infinite water going into them, infinite lava. Well, as long as there's lava in the nether, uh, we should keep a supply. And yes. See, look, I can replace this energy, this redstone thing with an Arctarctic gate. I'm going to replace all of my redstone engines with Octarchid Gates just because of how awesome they are. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a weird episode. I sound like kind of like derpy, weird, and happy, and joyful and stuff. It's because it's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday. <sighs> Breathe. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later, Z's. Goodbye.